Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at the Star Wars themed polybag Han Solo Mud Trooper set number 40300. This set came out in 2018, has 22 pieces, and was designed for people 6 and up. Han Solo needs no introduction to Star Wars or Harrison Ford fans, but this particular minifigure is based on Alden Einreichs, can't pronounce his name, performance in the 2018 Solo, A Star Wars Story. The movie let us see Han Solo's life before he met Luke on Tatooine and became a hero for the rebellion against the Empire. This minifigure is from what I believe is the most important scene in setting Han Solo's course in life for the original films. After getting kicked out of the Imperial Academy, Han is stationed in Mimban as a mud trooper. It's here where Han saves Chewbacca and earns his life debt, and meets Tobias Beckett, who sets Han on his path as a smuggler. This minifigure was given away as a free promotional item with purchase of $35 or more of Star Wars themed sets at the LEGO store. The leg piece shows us just how muddy Han gets on Mimban. The dark tan mud is caked all over his boots and pants. Curved lines are used to show us the mud oozing down his body. Every part of his boots are covered. But you can see sections of his sand green knee pads and dark bluish gray uniform partially revealed under all that dirt. I love that you can clearly see this is the same uniform printing used for the Han Solo Imperial Mud Trooper found in the Imperial TIE Fighter Lego set 75211. I'm a bit surprised that no mud dripping patterns were drawn on the sides of the leg. Once again, we see that muck covering Han Solo's Imperial Mud Trooper uniform from the TIE Fighter set. I'm glad that LEGO followed the outline of the armor to not only give us more texture, but also make sure we don't lose the shape of the outfit being covered in mud. The sand green armor and utility belt peeking through lets us know that this is a fully dressed human and not a swamp creature or clay face. Once again, we see the curved lines used to show us the thick mud flowing down his body. Unfortunately, just like the leg piece, the sides of the torso lack any printing. The back, however, is just as detailed as the front. The two details I love the most in the back are that we can see the electronic controls on the armor caked in dirt, and the belt manages to look like the mud is actually seeping over and behind the belt buckle. You can imagine how uncomfortable Han must be feeling right now. The original headpiece gives us two facial expressions. Bricklink describes these expressions as scared and determined. For me, the scared face looks more like shock than fear. Our overly confident Han Solo can't believe the mess he's gotten himself into. The other face could be determined or angry scowl, depending on the situation being created for the scene. It just shows how small changes can make a big difference. The mouth position is an obvious change in the expression, but a closer look shows the positions of the eyebrows and the size of the white pupils add to the emotional state of the character. The mud patterns dripping down his face is exactly the same for both sides. The short wavy hair with center part is a standard piece for the Han Solo minifigure. It doesn't matter if it was Harrison Ford, Alden, or an animated cartoon playing the part. However, Han has reddish brown hair and this piece is a dark tan color. No, he's not turning gray. Yet. The dark tan color represents his hair being completely drenched in mud, just like the rest of him. This would remain an original piece until the BTS Dynamite set came out in 2023. I was surprised that Han Solo didn't come with a blaster or any other accessories. I actually went back to look for it in the bag and on the floor, thinking I might have missed it. Instead of an accessory, we were given an elaborate display stand. To create the 3x4 dimensions, we were given a 2x3 plate and two 1x3 plates. The stand is one brick high and has a 3x4 tile with four studs in the center, typically used for minifigure stands in the CMF series. The back of the stand has two 1x2 bricks with an axle hole. The two L notch axles were then inserted to give the cardboard backdrop something to be attached to. The backdrop was then secured with two smooth half technic bush pieces. The front of the stand used a 1x4 brick with studs on the side to attach the name tile. 
the name itself was printed on a sticker that had to be applied separately to a 1x4 black tile piece. The sides of the stand have a 1x1 one one brick with a Technic hole. Even though there are two holes, the set comes with one Technic pin. The stands can be attached to other minifigures in the series that have similar bases, allowing collectors to show off their complete set. The cardboard backdrop has a picture of a fallen ATDT on the planet of Mimban. The dark, dirty background works well with our mud-covered Han Solo and is a nice representation of the planet we see him in the film. This was an amazing polybag minifigure. Every single piece to create the character was unique at the time. It was a completely different look from any other Han Solo minifigure. The characters found in these promotional minifigure polybags are usually fun and unique, but it's usually just the minifigure and maybe a small accessory. I love the display stands that came with this series. It's great for collectors who want to show off their collection rather than play with the figures. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.